Hi guys, welcome back to my doll room and channel. I know it's been a while since I posted a video and I'm sorry about that, but I'm coming on today for a few reasons. Number one is to thank all of you, all of you who have subscribed to this channel because we have reached 100 subscribers. So that is so exciting. That is something I never expected when I started making my cabbie videos as I was getting back into collecting. And I'm gonna pause and apologize because you can hear my cockatiels are quite noisy this morning. But anyway, I wanted to thank you guys so much for helping me get to 100 subscribers. I really never expected to reach anything over a few people watching and didn't think people would start subscribing when I started to bring you guys along on my happy, joyful journey of getting back into collecting cabbies. So first of all, I wanted to thank you guys for that. And secondly, I wanted to come on to just let you guys know about some of the reasons why I haven't been making videos lately. I had mentioned that I was going to ease up on my new baby purchases because I had some things going on, trips co coming up, but there were other things too. So I wanted to share some of those things with you. Um, number one <laughs> is that I decided to take a little health journey. Um, I'm sure you guys could tell that I'm not a super skinny gal. Uh, and so, uh, from the time I've I've been working from home during the pandemic, I managed to put on even more weight. I already was overweight and I put on more weight. And it, my health was getting to the point that I was feeling very sluggish, inactive, um, and really concerned for my own health. I have a lot of things I wanna do in life still. One of my dreams is to travel to Babyland General one day in Georgia. You know, I, I'm all the way out in Arizona and on the last trip I went on this summer with my daughter, I felt so big and cumbersome and overweight that I felt like I couldn't even walk around with her. I just felt lazy and sluggish. So I knew I had to do something for my health. So I've been on this health journey since July. I've lost 30 pounds. So I'm so excited about that and I'm still on the journey trying to lose more. And it's been the best decision I have made in my life. I've become a health coach. So that's been taking up a lot of my time. So I, I can't say enough about that. Uh, the program that I do is called Optavia. I don't know if any of you guys have ever had an experience with it, but it, I have tried so many things and it's the best thing I've ever done. It is um, for about for the price of one <laughs> soft sculpture cabbie off of the dot com, maybe a Christmas baby. Um, you can per month, you can have your health back. And I decided with all the money I was spending on cabbies, I needed to invest in my own health and my future with my daughter. You know, I'm a single mom of a 10 year old girl and I decided that I needed to be around longer for her, not just the cabbies, <laughs> but for my real life daughter to be able to do more things with her. So I am an Optavia coach now. It has been wonderful. It is changing my life and it's just, I can't say enough about it. So I'll just say that to you guys. If there's anybody else in the same boat that I have been in for my whole life with trying to get healthier and lose the weight, this has changed my life. So if anybody wants to reach out and send me a message, if you're looking for something to help you with that, I, I can help with that now too. So that's awesome. Aside from that, uh, I mentioned my 10 year old daughter, besides adopting beautiful babies like this, as you can see, I adopt many of them. Aside from that, I've been on a journey considering adopting an actual child. I am a teacher. I do have a daughter and um, I've dedicated my life basically, I guess you would say to children. And so I decided that I wanted to look into adopting a child fairly close to my daughter's age. And so that is something that I've been on a journey with as well, which takes up a lot of my time and, and not something that I'm going to definitely do it has to be the right fit for our family, but it's something that we're really looking into and it could happen. So that's been really exciting as well. And then other than that, I just wanted to pop on and say hi to you guys because it's been so long and I want to do again. Thank you for helping us reach 100 subscribers. In addition, I wanted to make a video with a topic as well related to 
cabbies and dolls. But I wanted to take a little bit of a detour off the Cabbage Patch Kid route because I will tell you guys, um, a couple of months back, I had a comment here on the channel that was really kind of upsetting to me at the time. I did respond and then I ended up deleting it because I don't want to bring a lot of controversy to this channel. This is for people who love collecting cabbies as I do and want that happiness and joy in their life because that's what I think it does for so many of us. It brings us happiness and joy. And so I felt the comment was really negative the way it was presented and I deleted it. Um, but I'm gonna tell you guys about it right now. So the comment basically said, I don't know why you guys are all worshiping Cabbage Patch Kids. If you would educate yourselves and knew the real story about it, they were stolen from Martha Nelson Thomas. And so my response to that was, I am very aware of Martha Nelson Thomas and her doll babies, most collectors are, and something like that, and you know, but then I ended up deleting it because I didn't want to leave any sort of negativity on the channel. So yes, I am aware of her and I'm sure most of you are. Most people who are diehard collectors know about Martha and she sounded like a wonderful lady and I have the utmost respect for her and the doll babies and I appreciate them as well. And I will, I just want to address it here on the channel because I don't want people to think those of us who love and collect Cabbage Patch Kids are not aware, do not have respect for her, for the influence that she had on the creation of the Cabbage Patch Kids because most of us are. Some people can't understand, well, you know, they believe, okay, the idea was stolen from Martha Nelson Thomas. That's neither here nor there for me to say on this channel. I wasn't there. I don't know exactly what went down. I do know something about the history as most of us, we, we do as collectors, right? Most of us do. Um, Martha Nelson Thomas, just for those who don't know, she created these doll babies, this art of soft sculpture back in the 70s, I believe she started. And it was pre-Cabbage Patch Kids, pre softies as well you know the softies came first with xavier roberts and so xavier roberts did know her he met her i believe at a craft fair was the story he started selling her doll babies which she called them which had birth certificates and adoption papers in his store in georgia i believe you know and um, eventually she decided she wanted to break ties with that business relationship and he said that what they say is that he said he was still going to sell dolls in that style and he started making his own. So the controversy was, did he steal the idea of the Cabbage Patch Kids from Martha Nelson Thomas? And and there was a lawsuit and there was a settlement. And so um, that is not for me <laughs> to have any authority on. I just know some of that history as most collectors do because you make yourself aware of of the history of things that you love and, and that's part of the story um, and so it part of the settlement was that it would be stated that I guess Martha Nelson Thomas's dolls would be um, stated as the an influence or an influencing factor or, or an inspiration I guess for the Cabbage Patch Kids and I am paraphrasing this from what I've researched on it and I did know about this before that comment even came into the channel a couple months back. And there, there's probably many of you guys who are diehard collectors who know more about this than I do. Some of you might be hearing about it for the first time, but others of you, I'm sure, know more than I do about it. And so if I state anything incorrectly, I apologize. Um, you can feel free to politely correct me in any comments. I, I would appreciate the information. But I just wanted to address it because I do feel that most collectors are aware and we do have respect for Martha Nelson Thomas and her doll babies, um, but still choose to love the Cabbage Patch Kids and not get involved with drama from 30, 40 years ago right now. Just enjoy a hobby that we love because... Most of us started loving the Cabbage Patch Kids as children. I did. I was a kid during the 80s Cabbage Patch Kid craze, and I didn't know anything at that time, of course, about 
that history with Martha Nelson Thomas or where did these kids come from? And I think, you know, business is business to some extent. And um, if we researched into the history of a lot of the products we love, we'd probably be surprised at some of the things we find out. I don't know. I don't really want to speak too much on that. I just know I love the Cabbage Patch Kids still. They're in my heart from when I was a kid and I'm always going to love them. But I do also appreciate Martha Nelson Thomas's work and she sounds like a wonderful woman. She was a wonderful woman. She has passed, but I have the utmost respect for her creations. And I didn't even realize until years later when I saw her her dolls what they look like that I had a couple when I was a kid there was a woman in our town who was really crafty and she would make all these dolls she would make Easter Bunny bodies and she would put the Martha Nelson Thomas doll heads on them Martha Nelson Thomas's dolls began to be sold as kits in craft stores such as Michael's etc and you could make the dolls yourself and so there was a lady in our town who actually did that and she ha you'd go in her house and I loved going there with my mom and she just had her whole living room was filled with the dolls and she was always working on more and you could choose one and she sold them for $20 each and I loved buying them I mean for me at the time I thought that they were um like craft fair versions of a cabbage patch kit almost like a knockoff i didn't know where they came from at that time i learned that years later as an adult collector but i still love them and appreciated them yes there's similarities but they do look a little bit different and i just loved how she would make them she would make easter ones like i said for easter with bunny outfits and they all sorts of holiday ones and i did have some of them i don't have any of them anymore from the ones i got from her they're probably honestly in my mom's basement somewhere <laughs> she's moved houses since and that's where everything ended up from when we were kids if they didn't get thrown out but uh, I started making a baby and I was trying to put this video off for a while which is another part of the delay till I finished but finally I decided it's been too long since I had a video we reached 100 subscribers I'm going to make it even though I didn't finish but I was really interested in, in making a Martha Nelson Thomas baby and I want that baby to be here in the doll room as homage to Martha and so I did start but I didn't finish so I've got a naked baby body guys this is my work. I mean, I am not, I crochet, you know, I'm a little crafty. I'm no expert, okay? This is kind of what it looks like so far. So the body I got on eBay, um, it has the tag, the original doll baby, okay? So you can see that on there. And the body, you basically just have to stuff it and then you have to sew it so that you make the indentation for the wrist, you make the fingers, you make the elbows, you know, you have to put the stitching in the right places, make the little booty so that, you know, I'm not no expert, so I have an ugly seam. I'm not the greatest with sewing. I'm better with crocheting. But I haven't quite got to the part where I have to do the head. I kind of wish they left a pre-slit cut there on the top for that. So that's what I've been procrastinating. I don't want to do the head. I'm nervous about it. But I'm going to have to slit that up and make a flap so I can put a zip tie in there. And then stick the head in. So here's the Martha Nelson Thomas head. I chose a boy head that I got. So that will go on top of the baby and then I'll dress him and he's going to be cute when he's all done but he's in progress right now so I have to pick a name for him so if you guys want to comment with any names for this cutie so this will be a doll baby not a cabbage patch kid this is Martha Nelson Thomas head that you well I got on eBay I don't know if they still sell them in craft stores but I got both the body and the head on eBay I have mostly cabbage patch kids in here but I do have other dolls I have a couple of Barbies. I have my porcelain dolls um, around as well, up here and then down below. So I have some other special babies in here too. Um, mostly cabbies, that's what I love. That's my biggest love, but not just the cabbies. So I'm gonna definitely name this guy. Please comment with name suggestions and then get him back on for another video in the future. But anyway, guys.
<laughs> put his head with his body. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for coming on with me today. I'm sorry it's been a while since I made a video, but again, as I said, I've been on this health journey. I've had to make it a priority. I had to cut my spending because of needing to do something for myself and my health and it's been the greatest decision I could make but I do want to get some more cabbies I probably just can't spend as much on the the new soft sculptures from the dot com etc I was looking at some of those fall fest babies I would love to get one of those but I just have not taken the time to try to be on at the right time I guess yet so I don't know if I'll get the opportunity for that but that would be nice um, I do want to check out eBay and see if I could find some bargains but I do have to be a little more careful now with the spending because I do have to um, we're going to Disney next month so that's another thing and I like to take little weekend trips here and there with my daughter we just went to Tombstone Arizona last week for her fall break we're going to Disneyland in California for a couple of days with my sister who's going to be flying out from the East Coast. So we're going to be doing that next month. And then we're going to do a trip up to Sedona again a few days after that. It's just been so many things one after another. And again, like I said, um, if you're the praying kind, keep me in your prayers, my daughter and I, for our adoption journey that we're on. It would be wonderful if we could find a child to join our family, the right child um, for us, and hopefully we'd be the right family for them. That is something we are definitely looking into. So we will see if that takes place. That would be wonderful. And also just, you know, again, like I said, trying to focus on my health journey, which has been a big change for me because I was not taking care of myself. I was just being gluttonous with the food. I uh, was having some too many margaritas since quarantine started and everything, and I had to get it together. So I really had to look at the big picture. If I wanna be able to go places like Babyland next year with my daughter and fly back east to see my family and go on these trips, I have to be able to walk around and be active. And I was just feeling like, <sighs> like crap honestly I, I I let myself get too heavy so I had to get that together and we always have to prioritize things in life you know and and but still do what we love with our hobby with the cabbies so that's just part of what I've been up to I just wanted to update you guys on why I haven't been on I still love the cabbies I still love my doll room that I get to do my online classes in and I still um, really am excited about the channel and having a hundred subscribers so thank you again guys thank you for watching I still have Rafi here <laughs> Rafi or Rafi I always feel like I'm saying it wrong but I think we'll call him Rafi Rafi so we're gonna say goodbye I've got my doll baby who still needs to have his head attached. We're going to say goodbye as well. <laughs> but thank you guys for coming on and listening and sharing the hobby of doll collecting with me. I really appreciate all of you guys and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for stopping by the Doll Room and channel. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye, guys. Say bye, Rafi. <laughs> Bye.